Hi everyone, in this short video I want to show you this book. It is called Introduction to Complex Variables and it was written by Caldwell and Matthews and it's got a really cool cover and I'm going to give it a whiff here to give you my opinion on the scent. Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good scent. It's all yellow on the inside, I love that. Let's take a look at the contents. So this book, by the way, is pretty hardcore, let me just say that. Um, it is not a gentle book. This is a mathematics book that is rigorous. Um, it's going to take some serious effort to work through it. Look how small it is. You work through this book, you will know a lot of mathematics. A lot. So it's by Peter Caldwell and Gerald Matthews from Iowa State University. Yeah, this is a, this is a good book. It's a very good book. And this is the, uh, I believe this is the first edition, 1973. The uses and users of complex analysis appear in all the physical and engineering sciences. This book offers a brief, efficient introduction to the subject, which develops most of the techniques we perceive to be basic and common to all users. Most modern applications of complex analysis require more than these basic techniques. For this reason, an introduction to complex variable methods must try to show why the techniques, techniques work, as well as what they are. Yeah, and so this book has proofs. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a proof-based book. Uh, it's not very big. Again, it's a small book. Functions of a complex variable, elementary functions, complex integrations. So it covers a lot of material here quickly. Infinite series. I mean, how many pages is this, right? I mean, residues and evaluation of integrals, conformal mapping, two applications of conformal mapping, and then analytic continuation. Answers to problems. Page 205. Let's go there. Let's go there first. That is what we're going first. So you have answers to some of the problems uh, in the back of the book, which is amazing because a lot of books from this era on this topic have no answers. For example, uh, the All Fours book, Complex Analysis by All Fours, uh, his book does not have any answers. Um, that's a very different book from this one, though. Um, you know, they do share some topics, but they are different books. So. Let's go to the very beginning so you see how it starts. It's pretty simple. Let's turn the page so we can see there's defining a complex number. You know, what is a complex number? Yeah, we go through oh, one over z. Yeah, one over z2. What is that? What is that? I mean, work it out. Mm -hmm. I think I have a video. I think I have a video of uh, of like some of these derivatives, like of this. Some examples here. It's pretty good. Let's zoom in here for the example. Suppose z sub 1 is equal to i, and z sub 2 is equal to 1 minus i, and then they give you the polar form for both z sub 1 and z sub 2. They don't, they don't tell you how they got it, but they just do it pretty quickly. They just give it to you, so you got to think about that. And then they look at the product, the quotient, and um, the inverse um, of z sub 2. Cool, right? Cool. And they have exercises here. The exercises are varied in difficulty. So there's number one. Number one's pretty easy, but it's a good exercise. You have to plot them too. Wow. You do a lot of stuff, right? It's a lot of stuff for each for each one, right? It's gonna take you some time. I mean, it's kind of nice. You gotta sit down and work through it. It's easy. It's not hard, but you know, it takes some time. It's good. It's a good good little problem to get started. And then here we go. Yep, some more. It's unfortunate that they don't have answers to all of the problems. I really wish um, the book did. I think that would make it much better, but I, I don't know of any uh, complex variables book that does. So, yeah. That's why it's good to have more than one book, so you can do some of the problems from each of the books, because it's kind of hard to do all of them, right? I mean, and then you can't check your answers, so. A lot of the exercises uh, that you see in these books um, are, are very common. For example, this one here. It says, if f of z is analytic in a domain d, and f prime of 0 is equal to 0 at every point of d, show that f of z is identically constant in d. So I think I even have a video for that. So I mean, you see these uh, you know, in a lot of books. Also, a lot of the topics in this book are very, um, I would say, uh, they coincide well with what's being taught today in courses. So this is still very up to date and very good. You know, math does not get old. Harmonic functions. 
Yeah, those are. I used to like this a lot. This is really fun. The exercises here. Yeah, verify that U is a harmonic conjugate, harmonic, and find a harmonic conjugate to U. I actually have uh, videos of this uh, here, here, here on YouTube, so you can check those out. I have a playlist uh, on complex variables. So, yeah. Yep. I probably should make more videos on this stuff. I, th I think I will. So yeah, this is really interesting stuff. It's fun, you know. Do some math problems. Anyways, I like this book a lot. I think it's great. If you can get a copy, get it. Um, it's pretty, I think it's pretty hard to find, but yeah, keep doing math.